The Rosette Rock is a fascinating geological formation in the Organ Pipes National Park in Victoria, Australia. It is a large outcrop of basalt with a radial array of columns, resembling a rose or spokes of a giant wheel. To understand the Rosette Rock, we need to travel back millions of years. This region was shaped by intense volcanic activity, with lava flows creating the basalt landscape we see today. During these ancient times, molten lava surged across the land, cooling and solidifying into the hard, dark rock known as basalt. Basalt is an igneous rock formed from the rapid cooling of basaltic lava exposed at or very near the surface of the planet. The Rosette Rock may have been created by lava cooling in a spherical cave formed by an earlier flow. Imagine a massive river of lava flowing and then cooling, but within this flow there are pockets where the lava cools more slowly, forming spherical caves. As the lava inside these caves began to cool and contract, it cracked in a very distinct pattern, creating the radial columns that now resemble a rose or the spokes of a giant wheel. This unusual rock formation most likely cooled outwards. It's hypothesized that stone or some other irregular feature acted as a cooling surface, influencing the pattern of the columns. As the outer edges cooled faster than the interior, the rock began to crack and form the distinctive columns we see today. This process is similar to what occurs when mud dries and cracks, but on a much grander scale and over a much longer period. Over millions of years, the relentless flow of Jackson's Creek carved a valley into the land, gradually eroding the surrounding rock. Jackson's Creek, with its persistent flow, has played a significant role in shaping the landscape of Organ Pipes National Park. This natural erosion eventually exposed the Rosette Rock, revealing its stunning structure for us to admire today. The creek's waters have slowly but steadily worn away the softer rock surrounding the heart of basalt, allowing the Rosette Rock to emerge as a prominent feature in the park. A short walk away from the Rosette Rock reveals another geological phenomenon, the tessellated pavement. A basalt outcrop where the ground beneath your feet tells a story millions of years in the making. The term tessellated means geometrically checkered, and this pavement certainly lives up to its name. Unlike the vertical faces of the iconic organ pipes, here you gaze upon the tops of columnar basalt formations. The pavement surface is smooth, polished over countless years by the steady flow of Jackson's Creek, which has gently filed down the basaltic columns, revealing a patchwork of geometric shapes. When basaltic lava cooled and contracted, it cracked into these columns, most of which are hexagonal. However, the columns here are varied, with some having four, five, seven, or even eight sides, creating a unique and mesmerizing pattern. Walking on this pavement feels like traversing a colossal ancient tile floor, each step a reminder of the Earth's fiery past. To the left, the land rises, revealing a stark contrast to the dark basalt, light-colored sedimentary rock, this rock tells a different chapter of the Earth's story, one written under the sea. These sedimentary layers were formed by the accumulation of rock fragments, sand, clay and mud deposited over millions of years. Compressed under the weight of water, these layers turn to stone, capturing within them glimpses of ancient marine life. Fossils of sea worms and extinct floating animals called graptolites are preserved in this rock, evidence that it was laid down around 400 million years ago. Over eons, subterranean forces caused gradual upheavals and sinkings of the land, shaping the terrain into what we see today. So the next time you visit Organ Pipes National Park, take a moment to appreciate the rosette rock and tessellated pavement, and the incredible stories they represent. From molten lava to a breathtaking natural sculpture, it's a story written in stone. The beauty of this formation lies not just in its appearance, but in the story of its creation. A story of fire, stone, water and time. Thanks for watching. Are you interested in animals? I've just started a second channel called Paleozoology that discusses extinct and extant animals with a current focus on the megafauna that once dominated and roamed Australia. I've released a video on the marsupial lion which existed in Australia during the time Indigenous Australians walked the continent. I've also covered the wombat that was the size of a car, known as the Diprotodon or the largest terrestrial lizard known as the Megalania. I'd love to have you along for the journey as more videos are released. You can find a link to this channel and to the aforementioned videos in the description and in the pinned comment in the comment section. Before I end this video, I'd like to give a big shout out to my Patreon and YouTube members. Thank you so much to everyone that helps to support this channel.